Hi everyone, Sonia from Sonia's Mixed Media back here today and I'm back with Home Sweet Home Colouring Book by Creative Haven and this is by Teresa Goodrich and this is the book that everyone voted just a little over a month ago for me to um, complete throughout the month. Now did I complete it? Um, unfortunately I did not. Um, I did try very hard, but I just ran out of time. Um, yeah, I did a few co other colorings um, throughout the uh, month. I couldn't, I was going to just color in this one the whole month, but I just couldn't get myself to do it. So yeah, I ran out of time, but I will show you all the pages I have completed and um, there isn't too many left. So let's go and see. So... And um, this is just the first page here. I just did this quickly in markers. Um, for some reason, I really hate doing the first page in a colouring book. Um, this always makes me nervous. Um, this one here wasn't my favourite page either. I really didn't feel like doing it um, and it probably shows. Um, but yeah, I just quickly did it in markers just to sort of get it out the way. Um, but we will continue on. They do get better. So this one here, um, like I stated in my past video, there was a couple of pages that I had already done um, before starting the monthly challenge to get it all done. So there is a couple that I did back in February. This was one of them. And this was done completely in Ohuhu markers. Um, what I did do with this um, book is... I've had a lot of fun because I've been working through my different uh, mediums and seeing what is being um, sort of my thing. What is my way of colouring? Um, not really a trademark, but something that I'm comfortable. Um, what mediums am I using that um, I feel comfortable that will have a good result in the end? So I've played with a different few different things throughout the pages of this. Um, so this one here, I um, started all in watercolour paints and I use just the, I don't use pencils, I just use the Winsor Newton um, Artist Grade watercolour paint palette there. And um, yeah, just went through watercolours. Then I went back in uh, with some Ohuhu markers um, with this one. And I think it turned out nice and bright and I'm quite happy with it. Um, so that's that one there. So that was done on the 29th of April. I did this one on the 3rd of April and this one is completely in uh, coloured pencil. Um, I think I did do a bit of watercolour actually, sorry. I did a bit of watercolour on the heels and on the house and the grass is watercolor as well so the rest is colored pencil um, and then just a little bit of highlights with a um, I think it was a Posca pen so I really like how this one turned out again this one was done back in February just using my Ohuhu markers I like the colour of the chair. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy with <laughs> the colour of the chair. I think it's really nice on this page. Uh, this one here I did on the 27th of April. Again, it's a mix of uh, watercolour. It's got um, markers and... Don't think I used coloured pencil on this one at all. So just markers and watercolour. Um, so my technique is that I go in with my watercolour first. So I like to do all the grass. I like to do um, trees and I like to do sky. And wood is also a favourite of mine of doing a watercolour. And um, then I just went back through with all the rest and uh, little details with the markers. And this one was actually the last page that I've done so far. 
and it's uh, I think the water it's a watercolor background and again the bed head is watercolor and the rest is uh, markers I think I use a little bit of gel pen just for the little seat um, frame here This one was done on 23rd of April. Again, it's just all markers. Sorry, <laughs> correction. All markers and watercolour in the background. And I think that really worked well because the watercolour, um, I think it's even pencil as well, background, is kind of like, it's not the, the focal point. It's really pushed back because it's uh, like a lighter, more faded colouring than the bright markers. So um, I think it works well to how bright the room is. And I did see one, um, I was inspired by, I can't remember who it was, but it was someone on Instagram who did the bath yellow and the curtains red. And I just love the brightness of it. So I went ahead and did the same. Um, of course, I did the rest of the room a bit different, but yeah. So I didn't complete this one. This one here is one of my favourites. This was on the 22nd of April. Um, again, watercolour and coloured pencil only for this one. And I love how the watercolour looks on the bricks um, to make like a... A slate sort of style brick on the house and I love all my little highlights in the tablecloth and the flowers and I think it really turned out nice even the the little cap in the window um, so that one's turned out really nice so watercolor and pencil I think is my favorite at the moment this one here is just watercolour and I've got some white stuff on here I don't know how that got on there <laughs> but just completely in watercolour and then just a Posca pen for some little white highlights here and there um, so that's what it looks like if you you know don't want to uh, use colour pencils or markers at all and you just feel like painting and um, they turn out quite nice as well um, but a completely different um, effect. It's more of a, um, how do you call it? It's not rough, but it, I don't know, is it rustic, a rustic look with watercolour? <laughs> it's not as precise. This one was done on the 30th of April. Um, so again, watercolour, this has got a bit of everything, watercolour, pencils, markers, and the um, highlights, I think I used a Uniball um, white um, pen. This one here is actually um, a work in process that I'm doing at the moment. Um, this is with a buddy colour. Um, it's a lady on Instagram. I'm sorry I did not write her name down. <laughs> I don't think she follows me on YouTube anymore, but... Um, we decided to do this page, so this will be my next page in the book. So I just put down some watercolour uh, for the dog and the chair um, just to get a base layer and then I'll go back over that with my coloured pencils. And yeah, that's the rest of it will probably I'll colour in coloured pencil. But yeah, I think that looks gonna look really nice uh, I didn't do that one this one here was done back in February and this was all with the markers so yeah I like the way I colored this one um, I like the black and gray thought I'd make it a little modern <laughs> looking um, and my bedroom actually has the dark navy um, curtains and yeah so I yeah I really like how it turned out 
So I didn't get to do this one. It's not one that I really fancy doing. Um, I used to be a sewer, but for some reason I just, yeah, I just don't really feel like doing this one. Um, haven't done that one. This one I did on the 1st of April. Um, again, um, this is just completely coloured pencil. Um, and I really like how it turned out. I saw a similar picture on Instagram where they made it look very vintagey, like a vintage room like this. I loved how they did the chair green and the curtains brown. And um, so, yeah, I really liked um, that look for this page. Let's see how that one turned out. Uh, this was a really quick one. I also did on the 1st of April. Um, yeah, I just wasn't into this page very much. Um, I did a quick background. I think I used um, some watercolour pencil and they're absolutely terrible. I don't know why I use them. I have to throw them out. They're actually um, Derwent Academy watercolour. Um, and I've had nothing but trouble with them. I actually used them in another book and it just ripped, when I added the water, it just ripped the paper up instantly. Um, and yeah, I can still see all the streaks where it hasn't blended with the water. Um, so yeah, I don't want those pencils at all. Um, it's just done in markers and pencil. Um, but no, not a favourite page. <laughs> we all have those. This one was done uh, 31st of April. Uh, I do like this one. Again, watercolour, um, some markers and some pencil in there too, I believe. Um, yeah, do like how this one turned out. And I like how I did the sky pink. I'm one of those people that always colours the sky blue. <laughs> and yeah I see other people um, colouring it pink and purple and so I thought I'd give that a try with this page um, but yeah I really like how this one turned out I just did a really soft um, watercolour grey just on all the sort of joins and edges of the glass house um, because I still wanted it to look like a white glass house but sort of like like a metal um, like it was a white um, metal um, material. Um, but yeah, I, I still think you have to add a bit of colour to anything white. So I just did a very soft grey. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, just like that. Didn't get to this page. This one here again, done back in February. So you may have already seen it. This was all Ohuhu markers. Um, I think this was a little bit of gel pen down here. I actually really like how this page turned out. I like the colours. Um, I like the brightness of it. This one on the 5th of April and this was completely all watercolour and I really like how it turned out. Again, it's that sort of rustic sort of look. Um, and I do that when I don't feel in the mood for using colour pencil or my carpal tunnels playing up. I just get out a water brush and just do a bit of watercolour painting. And it just, yeah, it's not as um, hard on my wrists. Um, so I think that was one of these days where I was a bit sore. So I thought I'd just, you know, crack open the watercolour. This was done on the 11th of April and again this was just all Ohuhu markers. I may have used um, a couple, I think I did use um, some Crayola Super Tips in here as well for bits and pieces. Um, they were a bit streaky though so um, I got out the Ohuhus as well but yeah all the bits where you can see streaks that's the Super Tips. I can get to this one. This one here is one of my favourite pages, done early April on the 2nd. Um, I use watercolour and coloured pencils and just um, highlighters just with um, 
a Posca pen or a uni ball white pen. Um, but I really like how this one turned out. I really love the doggy and, and the wood on the chair. Uh, this was done back in February. Um, yeah, it's just markers, nice and bright. <laughs> and I wanted to make it like a unisex room. Um, yeah, so you can't really tell if it was a girl or a boy. Um, I guess I've got a lot of pink in there, so maybe it is a girl's room. <laughs> uh, this one, 27th of April, uh, watercolour and my hoo hoo markers in this one. Again, this is one of my favourites. I like how it's really bright. I think it turned out well and I tried to use a limited um, colour palette with this one so just try to stick to um, green yellow blues and greys um, and I think it turned out really well I did enjoy it very much uh, this page here I just don't really like um, as much it's just too much going on and I think there's just going to be so many different colors in this um, yeah I just yeah haven't felt inspired to do this page this one I didn't get to do either and then this is the last one I believe and this was on the 11th of April and this one was just a quick one with markers I think I did this like in about an hour or so <laughs> um, but it's one of my favourites, actually. I really, um, I just love the picture. It's just very cosy and, yeah, it's, it's just a really nice, homey um, picture, isn't it? So, yeah. I think that was just done with, um, I think, Super Tips, that one. So that is Home Sweet Home Colouring Book. I didn't get to finish it, guys, but I will try to finish it one day. Uh, but I hope you did enjoy the pictures that I did do. Maybe you've got some ideas now. Maybe you'll crack open some watercolours and give them a go as well. So um, just wondering if anyone else out there is like me and just trying to figure out what is their medium. Um, I don't know if I've quite figured it out yet. Um, I do love colouring pencils the best, I think, for the final um, for the final look of a picture. Whether I still want to use watercolour as a basis um, for those, I'm not sure. Um, I did watch a Dee Dee Willingham um, video um, the other day on YouTube and she was using the Super Tips as a watercolour. So she would put the Super Tips on a bit of um, plastic and then she would get her watercolour brush and get the super tip off of the plastic and use it as a watercolour and then she'd use that as a basis um, to some of her colouring and then do the pencils over the top which was a really um, good um, tip I thought so I might give that a try. Um, also just basic um, markers underneath um, as a base and then putting um, colour pencil on top of that is another idea um, so yeah I'll be doing some more playing around and that's it from me I'm sitting here at my desk this time for the first time I normally go off in my bedroom and do the videos but <laughs> I was able to do it here at my desk um, so yeah have a great day everyone bye